that's the access hole for our x-axis spacer for this access here for the spacer uh, now we just got to bore some holes on each side We're just going to countersink these holes. the holes to mount the um, M4 these are M4 um, countersink screws so get a nice flush finish there all right okay so now I'm gonna just do a little engraving right here I didn't do it on my mounts um, for the direction, but I'm going to do it on these. So what I'm using is just a little engraving bit. It's just a it has one cutter head right there. It's just a eighth inch. It's been kind of ground in half. Just your standard engraving machine bit. We'll see how it does. I've used them in. In the past, they're kind of they leave kind of a rough finish, uh, but we'll give it a shot and see how it works out. Normally, uh, I just use a center drill, which work really well for engraving. Uh, you'd be amazed at the finish you can get with the center drill, but uh, so let's see what we got here. Get it started. One day I'm going to get air hooked up in here so I can use the air to blow this stuff off. But okay, it's a little rough. That bit's not the the best thing, but looks pretty good. I think it'll uh, clean up just fine.
right, there's the Y axis spacer. And this is the uh, slot so we can have access to the coupling. Nice finish there. Looked real good. Uh, that was Fusion 360 code. So now we just need to drill two holes on both sides and countersink them. Now we'll put in our chamfer meal and we'll come back and we'll chamfer those two holes on each side. Okay, we'll just flip it over and do the other side. All right, so what I have here is the Y spacer, and I'm just gonna engrave a directional arrow here for the Y axis. I've used these carbide engraving bits, but they kind of give like a rough groove. Inside the groove's kind of rough. They work, but they're not as nice as uh, the finish you get from just a standard center drill. So I've got a center drill in here and I've already done one with this bit and so I'll show you the difference when I get done but just a cheap center drill works really well. This is an eighth inch center drill and uh, we'll see how it does. Well, I've finished the two Y-axis spacers, and you can see the difference between using a engraving bit like this. It's just a, a round piece of stock carbide, and then they've ground it in half, gave it like a single flute. And uh, that works pretty well. 
you can't go very deep with that because it starts getting really rough and because the spindle is only turning 2500 rpm you really need something that a high speed spindle to kind of get a nice bottom in the groove but it does a good job now on this one you can see that it's defined a little bit better the lines are a little bit wider and what I used there was a eighth inch center drill and they work really well for engraving um, really surprised at actually how well they work again you don't want to go too deep but it gives a nice smooth groove and turns out really well uh, I did do some X finished the machining some X spacers and my Z spacer for the X I just put directional on it as well and again maybe you can see with this without the reflection there but I use the engraving bit and inside the X there it's a little rough yeah you can kind of see it there I think um, and that's just kind of what you get and then the Z I went a little bit too deep with the Z again it's rough but it turned out okay so I've got the spacers all made for I got the spacers all made for Chad for his uh, mounts and I'm trying to as I go along I'm trying to make another set we'll see how that goes I really don't want to get into machining mounts on a daily basis I promised Chad a set early on and so I definitely want to get him his set of mounts and then we'll take it from there So there you have some X and Y and Z spacers for the Precision Matthews. I uh, wanted to get a little filming of some of the machining that I'm doing. Because I don't have a power draw bar, it's really difficult. I'm having to just kind of machine each step one at a time. Kind of like you were doing uh, if you were doing conversational milling. And it's really a pain in the butt. It does get the job done. But I really want to get this completed so I can start working on the belt drive and power draw bar. Once I get that, my life will be so much easier. If you have any suggestions or questions, please feel free to comment. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Stop by and visit the website. I've got plans on there available uh, for those of you interested. Thanks for watching, and most importantly, be safe.